Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do this look for you. I have no idea what I'm calling it, but it will be in the title and you'll know exactly where it is by the time this is up. So let's just get into it. I'm just taking um, liquid latex. This is the Greftobian liquid latex. And I'm just putting, tearing up cotton balls and putting them on my face. There is literally no rhyme or reason to this. Just start putting it all over. You want to create this like weird texture with some that are like separated so you can add the blood into it later. And as well to make the crevices of the face. So I'm just basically doing that, fussing with it, with it as I go. I, again, I had no idea what I was doing with this look. So this is just trial and error. So you're actually seeing the process of my brain working during this tutorial. One recommendation I would have if you're going to do this look um, while just getting ready for Halloween or just getting ready for whatever your occasion is to wear this look, um, I would leave your mouth for last to do, your mouth and your nose for last because I wasn't able to have Twix bites after I put this on my mouth. So I'd probably leave that part for the last bit. But yeah, I'm just like bringing up my cheeks as you can see and just making those gaps and um... Working quickly and then letting it dry at the end so then I can see where the gaps will be. Another little like thing, I'm just like picking at my face trying to like open up some holes. I didn't like how flat that was. Please do not put scissors in your face. It is not safe. And just it just please don't. I'd prefer you not to, just so that you're not safe. I was just fussing around and trying to make it work because I didn't like how it was looking. Also, liquid latex near your nose does make your eyes water. And I wouldn't recommend putting liquid latex on top of piercings because it actually like pulled out my nose ring afterwards which is not very nice. Just keep all those things in mind while you're putting liquid latex on your face. Finally going into coloring, I'm starting off just using a torn sponge and just stippling the yellow from my wolf effects palette onto my face just kind of like making it very messy because I didn't want it to be all one solid color because I don't have a solid yellow face so I was just kind of stippling it around to make it a first base for my skin tone I'm going to put on in a little bit Next I'm going in with the pink from the same palette and I'm just like diluting it a little bit more as I'm going and I'm just putting this all, again, ripped sponge stippling on my face to make it uneven because I have some pink tones in my skin so I might as well bring those out. So I'm just doing that all over my face.
Next, I'm just taking the brown from the exact same palette as before and bringing more of the more, more, I'm saying more a lot in this video. Has anyone else noticed that? But I'm bringing out the more skin tone color in my skin because my face is not just made up of yellow and pink. There has to be some brown in there to throw in the mix. So again, ripped up the double sponge, putting that all over my face. I am also bringing down my neck and bringing it onto my eyelids and forehead, I think later on, just to make my forehead and stuff not so pale and naked. Then after that, I'm going in with red and black and then just deepening up some of the creases in my face. Just going in and then diluting it with water on my finger as I'm going. I This was like complete trial and error for me, but it turned out really cool, so yeah. I'm just going in and deepening up all of the hollows of these as well as putting the paint in my nose and on my inside of my actual mouth because it was pulling away from it where the mouth was. Next, going with my favorite part of all, which is blood, and I am taking this, I think it's the Tinsley Transfer, to be completely honest, that, like, the Tinsley brand, and it's a drying blood, so it actually dries, like, shiny and looks wet when it's not, but I'm just dripping this all over where I put the black to make it all bloody and such. I wanted it to look like I had lots of cuts on my face. This stuff is like super cheap too, and I'm pretty sure you can buy this most places. I bought this, I bought this one at actually Value Village for like six bucks, so I would totally recommend getting it because I really enjoy the Tinsley um, bloods. And then after that, I'm just taking my, I think it's a Graftobian powder blood. I can't remember it, but I'm just taking that, mixing with water, and just like putting that all over my face and my fingers like messily as ever and bringing it down my neck because my neck looked pretty naked. I did also drip this stuff on a q-tip and then put it in my ears and made it drip like that as well just to add to the effect. I did end up adding blood all over my face as you can see and adding blood and as well as brown with water to thin everything out so it looked really splotchy and messy. And this is the finished look. I'm actually very happy on how it turned out. And I don't know. I just, my brain is going somewhere with this video and I'm happy it went here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you recreate it, make sure to send me pics and I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.